Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages and everything in between. To another fun little playthrough. As you can see today, we're playing Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, Attack of the Donkeys. Anybody remember this shit? Anybody remember when this was like an hour long special or whatever? And they were like, Jimmy has brought the Tonkies to Earth or whatever the fuck. And they hate music. So, before we get started, some of you may ask, hey, where'd this playthrough come from? Well, first of all, I actually played this when this was like out on the PlayStation 2 like a long time ago. So, I'm actually familiar with this game. Uh, unlike um, Scooby-Doo Unmasked, that little playthrough I did, I've never played that game. This game I've actually played, and I actually like it, so that's why I'm doing it. But more importantly, uh, recently, at the time of this recording, my back is fucking killing me and it hurts like hell, so I really don't want to do any streaming right now. And for those of you who uh, watch my streams, you know that we're doing uh, Danganronpa V3. And I really don't want to, like, sit down for, like, four hours and basically read a book to the class while my back is hurting. Hell, it hurts right now to even sit like this. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for the time being is just record some stuff. Uh, some games that I just want to play, right, that make me feel good. And uh, take frequent breaks in between them and stuff like that. So, we're here with Jimmy Neutron, Attack of the Lankies. I'm gonna be honest, I had no plans for this playthrough. I just sat down and I was like, hey, I feel bad. Let me go back to my childhood. That'll be fun. That'll be fun to do, right? Let's see if I can remember shit. And now, to demonstrate the speed and movement of the typical comet, I give you the remote powered mini comet. You're slipping, Neutron. Real comets have long, pretty tails, not little stumpy ones. Only when they're filtered through the spectral light of the sun, Vortex. Care to tell me how I get a giant hot ball of gaseous radioactivity into the classroom? Hello, children! Ah! Get it off me! Down, boy! Down! Uh, whose comet is this? <laughs> oh, that tickles! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not the face! Ah! And that concludes my presentation. Thank you. Mr. Neutron, you're a lucky Where's Miss Fowl? Today. <laughs> and do you know why I am? He's giving a presentation to the class with no teacher. Kara, Principal Willoughby's mom doesn't pack his lunch. He probably has his butler do it for him. Duh. Oh, did your butler rub your tummy when she put you on the school bus and tell you your lunch is made with love? Oh, stop talking! No. I'm happy because the Lindbergh School Chorus has been asked to sing at the opening of the town's new stadium. Oh, how exciting! Oh, there's Miss Fowl. Now my singing talents can be revealed to the whole world! And apparently some other upstart band called Grey Star will be playing as well. Grey Star! Grey Star! Oh my god, that is so cool! Now kids, quiet down! Shh, shh, shh. Thank you! The auditions for the chorus will begin after school today, as the stadium opening is only a few days away. <laughs> well, I hope to see everyone there. At least the talented ones. I'll be there. Well, I have to get back to my lab and make preparations for my trip to Twonkus 3. Twonkus 3, the comet. You know, the comet that I have just been describing to the class? Okay, Sheen, I gotta go. Good luck at the chorus rehearsal. Right, like I'll need it. Besides, no one has been rejected from the Limburg chorus in 50 years. I just had like a terrible flashback <laughs> to when I was like younger and fucking playing this game. And I actually have funny thing. I have three copies of this game. <laughs> I'll get into that in a bit. Looks a little unstable, but I can't wait to see what scientific samples I can bring back from up there. All 
I need to do now is find the parts I need to fix my rocket ship, and I can blast off. Cool. Oh, God. What is that shadow going over Jimmy's feet? That doesn't look good. Let's fix that before we go anywhere else with this fucking game. All right, we're back. I don't know what the hell just happened with that shadow thing, but as I was saying, oh, by the way, while I was checking this out, apparently this game has no subtitle options, so I'm probably going to try my best to stay quiet during the cutscenes and stuff. But hello. like I was saying, if you ever why hello computer? Interact icon, move close to it and press the triangle button to see what happens. Do this now. Excellent, Jimmy. Other objects you can interact with are now in the Listen to that fucking music. Try it's crazy. And meet me in the lab when you are finished. Alright. But like I was saying, um I actually have <laughs> three versions of this game. I have two PlayStation versions and a GameCube version. And the reason behind that was because uh You're fucked up, Jimmy. That's not how you tell a girl you like her. Is that the only thing I can mess with? Yeah, but when I was a kid, I, um, whatchamacallit, I had the game on the PS2, and then, <laughs> and then it got, I guess this disc got scratched up or something, where, like, whenever that cutscene would play, it would get stuck on Jimmy just going, you know, the comet. <laughs> and he would just say that like repeated over and over and over again. So then I bought like another, ah, another, I just hit my home. fucking microphone. Where would a genius be without his lab? Now I need to find those parts. I wonder if I can find them in the lower levels. Cool. So I bought a, um, okay, Jimmy. Stop interrupting me, game. I'm trying to tell a story that I think is somewhat funny, but not funny enough to where people will laugh at it, okay? You're ruining you're ruining this moment for me. <laughs> Try fucking with your camera. Sometimes you may want to position the camera directly behind you. Press the L1 button to do this. Go ahead and try, Jimmy. This is a pretty good tutorial. Now follow me to the next lesson. Yeah, but that version of the game didn't work, so I bought another PS2 version. Then I lost that. Then I bought a GameCube version, and now we're here playing this. You have activated a checkpoint. If you ever run out of health, you will return to the last checkpoint you have activated. And that's it for my story. Guess you what? It wasn't fun. <laughs> bought three versions of this game because I liked it so much, and I was like, I want to play Jimmy Neutron. It was back when, like, um, they actually gave a fuck about, like, TV and movie tie-in games. I think the last good, like, tie-in game to anything that came out was probably The Mummy Demastered. I think that was made by WayForward, right? The makers of Shantae and Mighty Switch Force? What's this shit? That's cool. I think this one needs perfecting. All right, yeah, but you can definitely tell when a uh, developer or development team definitely loves whatever property they're working on, and they must have really liked Jimmy Neutron because this is the only Jimmy Neutron game I have played. Actually, that's a lie. I played a little bit of the one on the um, Game Boy Advance, but it's this game and another one that people tell me that was actually. Chew bubblegum, guaranteed 1,000 chews. I like it. That sounds stupid and useless. Anyways, um, oh, what the fuck was that sound? What? Why is it doing that? The sooner you follow me, the sooner I guess that's letting me know that you can't put the camera there. Huh, that's cool. Where the fuck did you even go? Oh, you're over there now. The giant ball of gas. You will need to jump on different things. I think it's supposed to be his supercomputer or some shit. Press the X button once. You will do a normal jump. 
Press it a second time when you are in the air, and you will do a double jump. Jump now to reach the pickup. Okay. Okay, Mom. Oh my god, are those my Yeezys? As the cool kids say nowadays. Even though it sounds pretty stupid to me. G get up there. I wonder what I can invent with this. Bro, I got markers and I got shoes. An invention, Jimmy. I can make Press custom Yeezys. There we go. To bring up the inventor face. The inventor face has four categories. Gizmos, inventions, super inventions, and blueprints. Gizmos require two objects. Inventions need three objects. Super inventions require four. This shit is reminding me of Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> it's like the uh, the Gadgetron Press shop the vendor. Press button to move across to the objects. Press the up or down directional buttons in each column to change available objects. Then press the X button to see if an invention can be created. If the pieces match up to create a new invention, it will be added to your inventory. You can see your current inventions in the hypercube. To access the hypercube, press okay, game. The Shit, <laughs> I don't even get Once to play it. The hypercube is visible. Use the directional buttons to scroll through. The hypercube, the, the sequel to the Rubik's Select cube. Select a gizmo or invention and press the X. Dude, button. remember when like Rubik's cubes used to be like job, the hottest shit now ever? The I remember when uh, everyone, everybody in my school was doing a Rubik's cube, and then one of the kids, like me, I didn't have a Rubik's cube. I was a poor kid. I didn't get to have a Rubik's cube, but um. But I had Jimmy Neutron. But, uh... I remember, like, all the kids... They were doing, like, Rubik's Cube in my school. And then one of them finally, like, finished the Rubik's Cube or whatever. After, like, what? Three weeks or something? Because, you know, we're all kids. We're just fucking around or whatever. And then the fucking principal got on the loudspeaker. And he's all like, everybody stop what you're doing. This kid right here, he did the Rubik's Cube. He did it. <laughs> he made, like, a whole announcement and shit. And I was like, dude... I would say the name of the kid who did the Rubik's Cube that was announced, but A, don't want to DOS nobody, and B, that person is actually, uh, that person is actually Fortnite famous now, so I'm not gonna say their name. You have found a Goddard upgrade. When you pick it up, Goddard will have extra commands. They will be available from your Hypercube. Keep an eye out for more upgrade packs. Why don't you try them out now? Alright, this should help me out. Alright, Goddard, you robot dog. You're gonna do everything Step I tell up, you to do. An invention object. I love Goddard. I always loved Goddard. Whenever the episode showed up and Goddard was like a part of it, I was like, yeah, I love the robot dog. He's cool. Alright, so what the fuck am I doing here, Goddard? I'm telling you to do some shit? Oh, I'm telling you to sit on the panel. Get the hell over here. I need you to... What the fuck? I need you to... Don't move from that spot. You sit. Good job. That's why we love you, super smart dog. Uh... Uh... Goddard? Excuse me. <laughs> Destroy yourself. Okay, boy. Play dead. <laughs> that was always my favorite. Got her. Play dead. He just blows up. Mm -hmm. All right, got her. Let's try this again. Don't know why it didn't work the first time. I need you to waltz yourself over here. Come here. Don't you fucking question me. I built you. I brought you in this world, I can take you out of it. Good, now sit. You adorable little fucker. What the fuck? What's going on here? That gate's up. Am I going the wrong- I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Where do I- Where's the entrance to that place? Oh, it's around here. Right? No? What the fuck? Is this not a door? That's not a door- Oh, what? Oh, all right. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out for a moment. 
Doesn't this look kind of like a glass panel should be here? Why is it outlined? Why is it like that? It was open the whole time. Wow, an invention piece. <laughs> Oops, my bad. And the insanity begins. Good job, Goddard. Kill yourself. Goddard, lay down. <laughs> That's a bad way. That's a bad thing to say. Oh my god, is that purple flirt? That's the only thing I like to remember from that show. I don't know what the fuck I just picked up. Oh my bad, not the hypercube. It's in the, uh... It's in this thing. Is it a gizmo? Is it an invention piece? No? Is it a super invention? Soda pop. Does anyone actually say soda pop? <laughs> Give me some of that ass uh, soda pop. Awesome. A super invention piece. Good job, Jimmy. Go Jimmy, Jimmy. That's the voice I hear inside. That's a good song. <laughs> if you want to fight me on that, leave a comment below. Tell me what's a better song from that goddamn Jim Neutron movie. Jim Neutron started out as a movie, right? And then it got its own series? And then it got like, the uh, I'm starting to remember a lot of things. What the fuck is this? What is that, ice cream? What is that? Is that like an ice cream sandwich? What the fuck is this? Okay. What is this, a tub of lava? Corn syrup? Sometimes I even amaze myself. Jimmy back here making fucking moonshine? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Alright. Uh, where the fuck my supercomputer? Oh, you're over here. Hi, supercomputer. Uh, yes, I activate the elevator. A genius never takes the stairs. There's something over here. I want to pick it up. What is that? A remote? TV remote? Oh, my shadow turned into a box again. That's interesting. And now it's back to regular shadow. I don't know how to fucking fix that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. It's a little shadow. There's a checkpoint. You have found a blueprint, Jimmy. Blueprints are plans to show you how to create some inventions. Check your inventor face at any time to see your blueprints. Okay. All right. This should help me out. So you need blueprints for super inventions, Good work, right? Good Jimmy. You have now completed all the tasks that you will need after you leave the lab. I may Anybody think that Jimmy's hairdo always looked like a Hershey kiss? At a later stage. Man, when that boy grows up, he's gonna have the meanest fucking, like, Vegeta hairstyle. You know what I mean? Got that big-ass widow's beak <laughs> going on his head. Uh, remember that episode when Jimmy turned into a hamster? That was fucking stupid. There's a loud-ass... Oh, here's this little shoot thing from, like, his room, right? Oh, not from his room, his little shed. Did his parents ever knew he had a lab? They knew he had a lab, right? Yeah, I think his mom and dad would like show up to the lab from time to time. Atomic vomit! A super invention object! Atomic vomit. Oh god, that's nasty. You're fucked up. Oh, there's a little icon tells me I can make things. Super invention. With a bicycle wheel, soda pop, skis, and a rocket engine that I got. It was a rocket engine. Think, think. Right I made it a rocket ship. Yay. Oh, that's where the skis go. That's pretty cool. Where's the soda? What, what the fuck is the soda pop being used for? For a... <laughs> for a mid-flight snack? <laughs> Maybe it's some, like, crazy shit like the chemicals in the soda pop. In that fucking, uh, this gizmo piece will come in handy. I forgot what I was gonna say. I'll be honest. Sarsaparilla. That's what I was gonna say. We don't have sarsaparilla no more. Uh, can I make anything right now? 
So if I remember correctly, there's some like useless ass inventions that you can make okay, in this game to go outside. that you really don't need, but you can just make them. So Jimmy, guess what? My folks what, said Carl? I could get a new pet as long as it doesn't set off my allergies. That's great, Carl. Uh huh. So you want to come to the pet store and hold the animals up while I sniff them? Uh, sorry, Carl. I have a date with Twonkus Three. Twonkus Three? Sorry, I'm yep, drinking soda. It's a comet that is entering Earth's orbit in. You can blow it out. Gotta run. Twonkus Three is entering. You have Earth's no watch, Jimmy. Jimmy, you had no watch. So, what was that? What I missed? Oh, Jimmy's dating a comet, and I have to go sniff animals. And they say I'm the weird one. Well, guys, got a blast! You damn right, I'm a straight A student. Look at that. I'm a fucking boy genius. See, here's the thing I'm saying, guys. Just take a scale, right? Jimmy Neutron, Johnny Tess. Which one was way better? It's not even a fucking contest. Giant Tess is fucking garbage. I don't know why people like that show. Who's fucking trash? Jimmy Neutron in Blast Off. Wow, Goddard, this is a blast! <laughs> Jimmy, there's no oxygen in space. How are you breathing? Oh, fuck. Ow! Star Fox, you are not. Oh, there's the shoot button. It's square. My pew pew laser. Ow, fuck, that hurts. This does not control well. <laughs> ah! Ow! Got her. Do something. Don't you got, like, laser beam vision or some shit? Help me out. Hey, it's a space station. Take it down. I need to stop at this discarded space station and pick up some neutroleum fuel canisters to super boost me to Twonkus. Hmm. Better land away from those Do you think when they the were writing the script for the show and the games and stuff like that, did they ever do any actual science research or did they just use big words? Like zero gravity here. One of those meteors must have knocked out the station's gravity. Oh yeah, Jimmy, you gotta be careful about that gravity, man. Don't worry about the oxygen problem, it's fine. Got a battery pack. I remember in uh, the Toy Story racing game for PS1, the battery pack was like a fucking speed boost. And I love the shit out of that speed boost. I used to play that game a lot. There's a lot of fucking tie-in games that used to be so goddamn good. Uh, wrong button. Here we go. Magnet shoes. Bam. Did it. I'm a motherfucking genius. Alright. Interface. Mag shoes. Let's go. Now I don't need the tether. Now if only I can breathe in space. That dog has a driver's license. That's the coolest dog ever. Alright. What the fuck are we doing here? We're getting a, uh... We're getting a fuel canister? Why didn't you just fucking make one in your lab? And, what the fuck? There's nuclear shit in here? Or nuclear, as Homer Simpson would fucking tell you about it. It's pronounced nuclear. Or nuclear. Or some shit. If I can rewire the power, I can shut off the laser turrets. Look at this fucking Resident Evil puzzle. What is this shit? Okay. Oh, triangle's not a button to press. There must be a way to rewire these turrets. Don't worry, Jimmy, I got this. I'm smart, okay? Did you know that I was a lawyer, Jimmy? No, I used to be a lawyer, Jimmy. See, there you go.
If you want to see me be a lawyer, go watch my Phoenix Wright playthroughs. You will not regret it. I love how Jimmy had to clarify that this space station was discarded <laughs> before he completely destroys it. Meanwhile, at NASA or whatever the fuck, they're losing their minds right now. See, Jimmy, I did it. Great. More to go. I just want to make sure we're not leaving no invention pieces behind. Because you can make some fucking go. weird inventions, if I remember correctly. Like some actually, like, completely useless ones. One to go. That's it. I now have... That was right close. here. Just got out in time, and now on to Torcus. Jimmy, that was the easiest thing that I could do. Oh shit, this is worse. <laughs> like the little pieces can still fuck you up. Like why not just completely atomize the goddamn meteorite? This does not control well. Jimmy Neutron can breathe in space. Fucking steal shit from a space station, but can't put a like force field barrier around his own little rocket ship. Jackass. There it is, boy. Clock is three. The terrain looks a bit unstable, but I'll take us in for a nice soft landing. <laughs> Damn right, I'm a straight-A student. Boy, genius. You can't stop this. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off.